I want to get this one out of the way because honestly, I'm not a fan of rainbows. Okay. What about you? Um, I don't. I mean, I grew up going there time to time, like after the beach. After we would go to the beach okay. as a family, we you know either go to Rainbows or LNL or some plate lunch place. But you know, as I grow older, I haven't been eating it as much, so I don't know what to expect. Well, hopefully, it's gonna be good. Let's give it a try. The fucking answer is that. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man. So basically, for me, whenever whenever I have friends visit Hawaii, uh-huh. and like they're like, oh. Somebody recommending me rainbows, I'd be like, nope. <laughs> Alright man, what's up? It's been a long ass time and I got my boy Eric over here. He's a foodie on Instagram at Eating Hawaii. This motherfucker's got like over 14,000 followers. I didn't make a video for a while. I figured if I'm gonna make a video, have him come up. And also I'm gonna do fucking loco moco. Right, which it doesn't get any more local than local moco. True, true. That makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, what local moco is, it's two, not two, but it's hamburger patty on top of rice with eggs and gravy. Right, and like as far as comfort food goes, this as far as Hawaii as a comfort food, would, would you, this is probably the most comfort food you think it gets? I think so. <clears throat> I think this is. Right? By far. It doesn't get any more comfort food. Two you know? scoops of rice, mac salad, hamburger patty, two eggs, easy over, gravy, sunny side, gravy. You know, you know? so I mean, yeah, local moco, that's our comfort food. It's pretty local. The funny thing, I, I was telling my friend, like, oh, I'm going to do a local moco video. Mm -hmm. And then she looked at me like, what is that? <laughs> I started fucking laughing because when you, when you hear local moco, you don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. You can't even guess, like, Hamburger, hamburger with rice and eggs. You know, like local moco doesn't even sound like fucking anything. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think local mocos uh, originates from Big Island, from Cafe One Hundred. That's what I heard. It could I'm not, be. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that's what I think. That's what I actually went there once too. <clears throat> I'm surprised how cheap as fuck it is. And the thing is, a lot of these places been around for like long ass time. Well, one probably been around like 15 years. Pancake and waffles in Dillingham. Yeah, they've been there. They've, they've been around like 15 years, I think. <laughs> my brother actually really likes that one. Oh, okay, okay. My yeah. brother likes that uh, local mocha a lot. And then Rainbows, Liliha Bakery, and Zippy's been around like 40, 50 years, maybe. Yeah. At least. More than yeah. more than 30 years. I know that. Maybe before maybe our more, time. Yeah, so. And then we got one expensive one, which is like one one of the most expensive local mochas. Yeah, let's show them. You know? So Where's this from? This is from the Alley Bar and Grill, which is a bowling alley restaurant. So this was recommended and also on Frolic's top five list. So this was like seventeen seventy five plus tax because eighteen ninety. Yeah. So the only way you can get more expensive local mocha is if you add truffles or foie gras. You know? Oh, you got two patties on there. Yeah. So it's big too. This one is from Liliha Bakery. Oh, they gave the butter roll yep, too. Yeah, and they give you the butter roll. So Liliha uh, Bakery is fucking one of the most known breakfast spots on in Hawaii for locals. Um, they got three locations now. Everybody said you got to go to the original location. So I went to the original location. What do they call this? Like the, this uh, jam? Yeah. So Liliha Bakery is known for the butter roll, which is kind of smashed up right now in the package. But at least they gave it to us. And you got the strawberry jam. Everybody knows that shit. You show anybody in Hawaii the strawberry jam, they know you at Liliha Bakery. Yeah. That, that's a fucking fact. Look at that color, though. Yeah. Yep. Let's see what the local mocha looks like. The egg's a little bit slowly dripping now. There you go. As far as condiments, do you add any uh, ketchup? Um, show you oh, hell no. Salt and pepper? No, 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 no just no, straight no, no, like no, this. No. If anything, Tabasco. Tabasco. What okay. about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tabasco. Uh, a little bit ketchup sometimes. Um, nah, but I, 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 I appreciate it plain too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about sriracha? No? Tabasco better? Yeah, I like Tabasco. Sriracha fucks with the flavor too much. Mm. So I don't like to use sriracha. Okay, okay. Stuff like that. This one right here is from Pancake and Waffles, wow. which is a, like a breakfast spot. Wow. So this one was probably one of the cheap well rainbows are probably the cheapest, but this one was cheap too. I think rainbow oh, I forget. Rainbows was like nine something. Okay, this was like nine, nine and some change. Yeah. Zippies was like eleven, I think. Oh shit. 
Oh, uh, Zippy's though, the, the yoke looks pretty fucking nice though. They got a nice orange yoke. That always means that egg is usually better. The patty. See, the one thing I don't, the one thing I don't like is pre-made frozen patties, right? I don't. No matter what, when it comes to local mofo, I'm not down with the fucking the pre-made patties. And then this one, you can kind of tell by the edges that the patties are pre-made. What is that? Like that? What's that local no. patty? Um, maize. Maize. Is that maize? You think that's maize? No, nah, it's not maize. No, no, it's not, not maize. maize oh, but, okay. All right, as we usually do, since I'm Korean, we drink soju on this motherfucking show. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And because he's a big ass motherfucker, we don't need little shot glasses. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So I want to get this one out of the way because honestly, I'm not a fan of rainbows. Okay. What about you? Um, I don't. I mean, I grew up going there time to time, like after the beach. After we would go to the beach okay. as a family, we'd you know either go to Rainbows or L and L or some plate lunch place. But you know, as I grow older, I haven't been eating it as much, so I don't know what to expect. Well, um, hopefully it's gonna be good. Let's give it a try. The fucking answer is that. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man. So basically, for me, whenever whenever I have friends visit Hawaii, uh huh, and like they're like, oh, somebody recommending me rainbows, I'd be like, nope, don't go there. How do I you mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's uh, it's it's changed. I mean, they've they've expanded. They've changed. Uh, they have. Uh, new owner now, I think. Oh, so I don't know if the food is better okay, or worse, okay, but okay. I don't, I don't eat there often, so I okay, can't really okay. give you an honest opinion. Yeah, because because like, Rainbow's been around long, it's super popular with the locals and the tourists, because it's fast and it's cheap. But as far as quality wise, it's like it's like the McDonald's of Hawaii, pretty much. You know, fast and cheap. So right there, the rainbows. With the mac salad on the side. Okay, right on. So they had two patties, which is, but well, like their patties are super small. A little bit of egg porn. So this is one of the cheapest places you can go for local moco. Uh, yeah, I would say the patty is not. I'm not really feeling the patty. It's all right. Maybe get some, get some like uh, mac salad in there too. They cook the egg really good for over easy. Mac salad is pretty good, but. Like, See how thin that was, and then like the only reason I chose the rainbows, and this was just my list, like my personal. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I would not choose rainbows at all. But Rainbow is one of those that got it because you're going to have some stupid ass motherfuckers and be like, what about Rainbow's? What about Rainbow's? So I got it in there. Honorable mention. I give that like a 2.5 out of 5. <laughs> I give that like a 2.5 out of 5. It would be a 2 out of 5 because the max the max out is actually freaking pretty good. They got an extra 0. 0.5. Do you ever but, make your own local mocha? <clears throat> not really because it's a pain in the house. I don't really make it's a lot my of own work either. It's a lot of work, man. Yeah. For the hamburger patty, okay. And then gravy. How the fuck are you gonna make gravy? Yeah. You gotta use a packet. Yeah. yeah the only the only gravy. way I would make hamburger steak at home is with um mushroom gravy. Mm, mushroom. Cream gravy. of mushroom. You gotta make like a nice demi glaze. So that's, that's a lot of work for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So rainbows, the most probably one of the most OG locomocos. Highly do not recommend unless. You don't have much money. Balling on a budget. And you ain't got time? Or you got to buy food for like five of your kids? Shit, if you don't got time, the line was super long when I went. And but they move pretty fast though, right? It, yeah, it moves It moves all right. Well, but, of course, that's lunchtime too. So but you, pro tip, call it in because they, they have a different line for <sighs> phone orders. So you don't have to wait in the long line with all the tourists. 
Okay, next one is called Zippies. Zippies. Zippies is probably one of the Zippies is the most popular restaurant in Hawaii. Right? I'd say so. They have a lot of locations. Mm-hmm. They used to be 24 motherfucking hours, but now they close kind of early. They close at they close, 10 now. Yeah, they close early, bro. I can't even go to Zippy's late yeah. night no more. Like, damn. Are but, they open on the mainland? Are they in Vegas? No? I don't they're know. On, they're on some uh, some other islands. Um, there's only but, like, like their patty places. is pretty thick and fat, but, like, look at this. Like, it's kind of beefy, yeah? But this is a fucking, like... You know, this is not a handmade patty. So, like, I don't know, man. Handmade patties versus fucking whatever fucking made patties taste is different, in my opinion. Because you don't get that homemade fucking... Because yeah. yeah. comfort food, right? Comfort yeah. food, I think, is best when it has that homemade flavor in it. Yeah, yeah. And being handmade makes a big difference. I might be getting too technical, but that's just how I am in food. I, I like to overthink shit. But Zippy's has some of the best mac salad, though. Mac salad? Like, they have some of the... They put carrots in it, and I don't know what the fuck they do, but their fucking mac salad is, like, fucking some of the best. Awesome. Not bad. Gravy is a little bit more tasty on this one, yeah? Yeah. That's the one thing I was thinking with, um, like, like local mogo, the darker the gravy. So far, so good. I like this better than the Rainbows one. I think everything's better than the Rainbows one. <laughs> but the Zippy's one, I would say, so like the Rainbows, I would say that's like the McDonald's. And I would say the Zippy's is like the like the IHOP or Denny's. Mm. It's not nothing special, but it's, it's reliable. That's how I feel. A lot of people like reliable. Yeah. Okay, so we have Rainbows, Zippy's. Okay, we got the Alley, the Leha Bakery. And okay, let's go to Leha Bakery because Leha Bakery is one of the OGs too. Okay, we'll right? go to Leha Bakery. So Leha Bakery, like, is one of the most popular breakfast spots bakeries in, in Hawaii. Uh, they got, I think, three locations right now. A lot of people say I gotta go to the original location, which is in Leha, which is the one I went to. Mm-hmm. And they said that's the best one. So I went to Leha Bakery, got it, like freaking right there, bam, right, bang. So. This one is gonna have that homemade fucking taste, you know? Okay, I'm excited. I think. But let me see. Okay, it's one huge ass patty. I thought it was gonna be two small patties, but it's one big ass patty. So I like one big. But that's a patty. But at least it's not smooth, right? So this one looks still made by hand, you know? And uh, no, there's no max salad on this one. Nope, yeah, because this one doesn't come in max salad, but it did come with the rose. Oh, butter rose, yes, that's correct. Yeah, this is this is like, but this is like this rose, and this, like I said earlier, this shit is so iconic that everybody knows. If you post a picture of just that, everybody knows where you eat. Yeah, just sure just that. that. But the patty right now. It has homemade barbecue taste to it, you know? Damn, bro. The egg was kind of... Wait. Not really runny, huh? Are you really using a knife for your fucking mocha? Yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Best, uh, best patty yeah, so far. Yeah, fucking... You can taste... It, taste, it tastes homemade. I don't know if they got, like, little onions in there or something, but... You can really taste the char. Like, you can taste that, that barbecue. Like, yeah. it's been char bro flavor. Like, really good. That patty is fucking good, though. And the OG Liliha spot, just a counter. Count, yeah. Straight old school diner. The patty on that is like a, such a world of a difference compared to Zippy's and Rainbow's. That, that was pretty good. So far, I'm feeling the patty from the Liha, the gravy from, from Zippy's, Zippy's. Yeah, yeah. So, and the yeah. mac salad from Zippy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if they could all come together as one, that'd be great. This one didn't really have too much uh, gravy. gravy yeah. Yeah. It didn't have too much gravy because I'm looking at my plate right now. Not a lot of gravy. But that's the kind of place you ask for gravy all over. It's not a lot of gravy. Yeah. Because usually when you eat there, you ask for gravy all over. You say yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. And cheers up. Cheers. So next one up is a breakfast spot called Pancake and Waffles. They're known for their fried chicken and waffles. 
But somebody told me, well, not somebody, but this is also on Frolic This mm-hmm. of Best Locomoco. This is their Locomoco. Again, no Max Salad. Yeah. yeah. A lot of gravy, though. Yeah. And a lot of rice. Look how much, look how much <laughs> fucking rice that is. See, that's the one thing I like when you order Locomoco when you compare it to your other plate lunch. Then when you order a regular plate lunch, usually you just get like two scoops of rice. But sometimes when you order Locomoco, you get a better rice, which is you get more for your money right mm-hmm. there. How's the patty looking? Oh, wow. the patty looks fucking. Patty looks like fucking somebody's fucking mom made it. You know what I mean? Look at yeah. that. That's, that looks like that looks like a good ass. That patty. looks like a homemade motherfucking patty right there. You know? Look at that, man. No smooth edges, none of that shit. Um, the only thing that doesn't look that the only thing that is a little disappointing is the patty looks like that on this side, but looks like that on that side. It's not. It's not evenly. It's not cooked the same on both sides, which I'm not a fan of when, when that happens, you know? But let's see how it tastes. Awesome. Pretty good. Looks like they got a little carrots inside. Probably put some breadcrumbs in this one, too. It's a little <clears throat> bit more like meatloafy, mm-hmm. the patty. Yeah, I agree. Definitely the most homemade tasting, right? Yeah. Out of the bunch. Yeah. Which is usually meatloafy. Mm-hmm. Every time, every time, like my mom would make it, she always put like breadcrumbs and shit, whatever. Kind of like fluffs it all, makes it softer. This was probably the cheapest. Only came in one patty. They had a deluxe, which was like eleven something, and the regular was like eight, eight ninety five. So this is probably the cheapest local mocha we got. Came in a decent sized patty, so it's pretty thick. Probably pretty good, homemade. Only thing is, um, I think for me when it comes to local mocha or the hamburger steak, I like that real beefy taste, mm-hmm. not that kind of meat loafy taste, mm-hmm. like Japanese local mocha. Yep. How do you feel about uh fried rice on the bottom, like a oh, local okay. mocha fried rice? How do you feel about I that? I think you should not get fried rice with local mocha. Got to be white rice or brown rice. White but or brown when rice. When you get fried rice, you're doing a little too much. That's too much. Right? Okay. It's one of the times where too much is, it's, it, it takes away from the taste of the food. It kind of takes away from the patty and the gravy, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because especially like, like when, I mean, if you don't give a fuck what you're eating, then local, the fried rice is okay. Yeah. Or if I'm like hungry as fuck and I'm starving. Yeah. But like, if you want to truly enjoy the, the, the patty, mm-hmm. right, which is to me the main thing when it comes to local mocha and the gravy, then it's like with rice, it just tastes better with right rice. Because yeah, then you're sure. having... A more like a plain to 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 try it on. What do you think? The yeah, the fried rice should be. You're saying it should be like its own. Yeah, separate exactly. Meal, exactly. Yeah, 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 its yeah, own yeah. separate entree. Yeah, because then it's just too cluttered. Mm-hmm. Too much. Too much salty shit in one thing. True. What about you? What do you like? Well, I like it either way, but I think for the more authentic traditional taste, yeah, it gotta be white white rice for the sure. White rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. with the fried rice, it's just it's just too much going on, and it's like. You can do that, but that just means you don't give a fuck what you're eating. You're just shoving yourself at whatever it is, you know? Is that number four? Yup. And the last but not least, or not even, not even last but not least. Did we save the best for last? Well, we well we saved the most expensive for last. Okay. So this motherfucker was 17 something something, plus with the tax was 1880. 1880? So this, like, this, is, this is probably... Damn. This could be the most expensive local moco I ever bought. That is kind of fucking pricey for a local yeah. moco, yeah. And it's a takeout local moco. Like, like this is not. I, I went to some fucking Wolfgang's and got local moco to go or some shit. You know, this mm-hmm. is just straight takeout restaurant. You can dine in. It's like a Zippy's. Do from you, a bowling alley. Do you feel like they give you more food if you sit in the restaurant? Shit, and order local moco. Oh, I never ate there enough for me to determine. Oh, that. just in general, just in oh, general. Like, nah, if you were to sit nah, in, no, in no, any no. of these I think places? it's the same. I think it's the same. The same. Oh, okay. But from the looks of this, they look like they gave the most fucking meat too. Like, yeah. like this looks fucking. There's two patties, right? Yeah. It looks like two fucking fat fucking patties right there, right? You know, it's fat. I don't know if you can see P-H-A-T. it. P H A T. Yeah. And then fucking like. Shit looks homemade, you know? The, the, bruh. Look at this shit, bruh. Okay. Right? 
Damn. See, the, that's a big the boy. The that says homemade and fucking ugly ass ridges. Look at the that's char. You know, the yo. char. You see the, 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 the char marks, the right? Char marks, yeah. Which is nicely grilled. But also, like, see, this is what you need, man. When you, when you eat a hamburger, right? Whether it's a burger, local mocha, whatever. Mm-hmm. You got to see ugly ass edges, man. That's how you know it's fucking handmade. If you eat a hamburger and it's like nicely fucking smooth and round. Nah, man, that shit's pre-made in a fucking factory or some bullshit. You need this ugly shit, man. This is when the ugly becomes the beauty, you know? That shit right there. Ugly delicious. Yup. I hate that show. <laughs> Cause he always, he always, that guy, he always makes everything, he always makes everything to a racial shit. I, I haven't, I only watched like a few. Oh yeah, no, I watched a couple episodes and like, every, everything's racist to him. Oh yeah. You know, I'm like, the fuck? What's his just name? Uh, David Chang, whatever. David Chang. I'm like, bro, just, just eat the fucking food and talk about the food. Fuck, stop talking about some childhood racism shit when you got picked on as a fucking little kid, you know? <laughs> You're getting too carried away. What is he on? Is it Mama Fuku in Vegas yeah, or something? Yeah, Mama Fuku. And then you got um the Mac Salad over there too, if you can see it. The alley, I air ball. But there's not that much gravy on this motherfucker. Look at this, man. I got no gravy on this whole patty. Got no fucking gravy, bro. What the fuck? I might have to get some gravy from here. Yo, I think I guess I can see why it's like eighteen dollars. <laughs> yeah. This is big ass fucking thick yeah. patty. Okay, this was the most expensive, but they gave the most meat, I think. So this might actually be the cheapest local moco. If you used to count, if you price, just if you double the prices of the other one, thing, yeah. it's pretty much. Yeah. Look how look yeah. how thick the shit is. This is this is a lot of meat. And look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Still, this motherfucker is cutting his local moco with his fucking. What the fuck? This guy think he's eating a fucking filet mignon or some shit, bro. What the fuck? Is he cut? Do you eat like that at home by yourself? No. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Mmm. <laughs> the gravy tastes kind of buttery. Mm-hmm. The gravy has a, the gravy song. I think the gravy might actually be made from scratch. Mmm. Not that gravy. Good. Yeah. Yep. It has that, like, homemade taste, too. Everything else, all the other gravies, I think, made from powder. The patty is good. It has that homemade, thicky, meaty taste. They're kind of all blending together now. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I think I think the Ali Aia Bowl plate lunch for $18, I think that's a lot for one person. If you're going with your wife or husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, I think that'd be good for you guys to split. Um, or if you're just really hungry, you can just pound the whole thing. Yeah, this is fucking super hefty. It's kind of it's it's kind of hearty, kind of hearty, kind of yeah. hefty, kind of really heavy. But I appreciate I appreciate the amount that they give. Sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think it sounds pricey, but they give you fucking more meat than everybody else. So it's actually. Same deal, just you can double the meat in one mm-hmm. plate. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do a quick recap then. Okay, rainbows. Uh, yeah, kind of the least, the least favorite in my opinion. Next was zippies, okay, right? Good enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So rainbows. I don't know who the fuck or why the fuck people recommend rainbows. Why? It's just a local staple. I mean, yeah, but like, but like, if it's not that good, why are you gonna recommend it? If your friend is here on vacation, and they're here for fucking a set amount of days, they can only eat a set amount of meals. Why would you tell them to go to Rainbows? Maybe, maybe they have uh, better choices than the local local. Like I know how people get with the mixed plate. <laughs> With that shitty ass fish. Oh, I was gonna say the boneless chicken. Yeah, a lot of people like the boneless chicken. Yeah, but it's like it's like whatever though, you know. I don't know. Growing up, I ate a lot of plate lunches, so I kind of don't eat too much plate lunches nowadays. I mean, that's that's all we see. That's all local families really eat. You know. Yeah, I mean, no offense to whoever's. Doesn't matter what I say because they're busy as fuck. Anyways, they probably do fucking millions a year. So, but my opinion is, rainbow salt. And if you like rainbows. You don't know shit about food. <laughs> you know? You gotta be honest with yourself when you recommend recommend rainbows. 
not because their food is good, it's because maybe you ate them when you were six years old. Okay. So it's, it may be nostalgic to people. Yeah, that's the only reason I can see people. But that doesn't make it, that doesn't give you the right to recommend that to people here on vacation. Yeah. In my opinion. Okay, you know? next, uh, Zippies. Zippies. Zippies was all right. Max Allard is good. The patty, I think back in the day, Zippies patty, they actually made it on the spot. Now, the Z thing is, you can taste that shit is pre made, mm-hmm. you know? So, I'm not a fan of the Zippies Loco Moco. I probably won't order that again because back in the days, Zippies 20 years ago, 15 years ago, the Zippies Loco Moco was pretty fucking good. Mm. And it would take them forever to cook it too. That was like the longest thing. But now, that's a big pass for me. So the the strengths was the, the max salad, salad and the gravy and the gravy. The gravy that's had a lot of flavor. Gravy. So yeah. that was comparing it to the previous rainbows. Next was was it Liliha Bakery? Um, Liliha Bakery. Yeah. That the patty was good. That patty, that patty yeah. was fucking some yeah. homemade shit. Like your favorite auntie made it for you. Yeah. That's yeah. how that fucking patty. Tasted. But what was it a little? Was it a little not too much on the the gravy? Right. The gravy yeah. Was yeah. A little well, bit too... well, I never asked for gravy all over. So yeah. Usually, that's for gravy all over to put all over the rice and shit like that. So. And then after that, we have pancake and waffles. Pancake and waffles. Pancake and waffles, the patty was good. But for me, I like that more meaty taste, not mm-hmm. that more meatloafy taste. To me, it had the little meatloafy taste. I mean, I could be wrong. Like, maybe they don't even add any breadcrumbs to that. But to me, that's what it kind of felt like, like the Japanese hamburger steak a little bit. Yeah. You know, but when I eat a loco moco, I want that fucking meaty taste and stuff like that that's beefy meaty yeah. yeah and then the last one the alley which was the most expensive but probably had the most meat so it's actually the best bang for your buck in my opinion because meat is what i like to eat it was good charm- gravy tasted yeah. homemade the char uh yeah. the char marks i think it was fat it was thick fat it wasn't a perfect circle like you were saying you know? Yeah. So that was definitely homemade. The homemade. House made. I don't know. Which one was your favorite? I'm going to either have to go with the Alley, Pancake and Waffles, or Lily Habiki. But if I had to choose one, I'm probably going to have to choose the Alley. The Alley? Yeah. I'm probably going to have to choose the Alley. Okay. I think for me. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think for me, the like when it comes to local moco, like the Alley might be a little bit more on the gourmet side, mm-hmm. you know? And then I want that. The local moco is like comfort food. So I want that, that like my friend's mom made it, you know, like an auntie made it, shit like that. Like mm-hmm. you get that, 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 that comfort food. Homie, homie vibes. Feel. Yeah, exactly. You homie know? vibes. And then just that, that, I don't know. I think I like the little bakery the best. You know? That was going to be just, my second. Yeah, just, just the patty. Cause mm-hmm. I think cause it's smaller too, not as big, you know, they just, you just get more of that, that char grilled food. Mm-hmm. flavor and stuff like that so so scenario 4 a.m after drinking the liha bakery oh, liha bakery. are you yeah, ordering yeah, the yeah, local yeah, moco yeah 4 a.m yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's what i used to do before. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what i used to do man back in the days and shit but then yeah probably because this is probably like yeah, the alley is good too but i feel like it's it's too big Mm. You know, that's what she said. Yeah, I don't know if that's what she said, but oh, that's what they always say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they always say. <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, I like the Ali's. Ali's good too. I like the Leah's. I think I like Leah's Bakery the best. Just smaller, so you get more of that char. You know what I mean? Because when you get the bigger patty, mm-hmm. the patty is that big, and the char goes only on the surface. So we need the meat to the char good surface. The ratio becomes less. You know what I mean? Because it's too thick. When yeah. you get the thinner and the char grilled, then I think the ratio is a lot better like that. Next time, are you ordering gravy all over? No. No, just keep it the way yeah, it is? Okay. Because okay. I'm trying to watch my weight. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm trying to watch your figure. Yeah. yeah that's right. I, 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 Respectable. That's why I haven't been recording for a while. <laughs> I've been trying to Hi, diet. This. But this is like the top five popular local moco places. This is not going to be like the best local mocos because of that. We're going to have to do more research and figure out. And just other restaurants that cost more and shit like that. Video 2 coming soon. Yeah. So, that, so the next video is going to be like, we're going to actually pick. This is like, we chose recommendations from a magazine and shit like that. And also like the most pop, the more popular places. But the next one is going to be places that like, 
none of you, none of the tourist people know and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that one's gonna be taste a lot better than like some of this crap over here. But like, but this is what I was thinking earlier. Like, some people said, like, oh, like, because there's like a debate I have with my friends about like In and Out and Shake Shack. Okay. And because I hate In and Out, but I love a Shake Shack. Okay. And the people like to say that Shake Shack is more expensive than In and Out. But I'm like, okay, but I'm like, I, I have enough money to afford to eat at Shake Shack, so yeah, I'm going to yeah, eat yeah. at fucking Shake Shack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If I'm down to my last $6, okay, but the but the scenario is not, oh, if you only got $6, where's the best burger? The scenario is, which has the fucking better, better fucking burger? I think, you know I think in and out, like, it's it's been the same for years. You know what you're going to get. I mean, everybody gets the animal style, but I think, I do think Shake Shack may be a little bit more gourmet, yeah? Yeah, yeah. A little yeah, bit yeah. better it's quality. Just, everything's better, man. Yeah. From the bun... To the burger, probably even the uh, I ate the it. I Fried. I had Shake Shack for the first time. I think it was in Vegas. What What about you? Where'd you have it? The first time I think it was in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Okay. So it's like even people can say, "Oh, Rainbow's is good because it's cheaper." But I'm like, "Well, you only got ten bucks, or you got fifteen, and you can get a way better fucking local moco." Nowadays, you gotta pay You're, to play. You know I mean? Yeah, you just pay a couple more bucks, you get a whole fucking better experience, man. Yeah, pay to play. Yeah, it's not about the fucking. The fucking you only got ten dollars where are you gonna eat you know there you got it yeah our local moco video okay that's about it and then i have my boy eric over here thank you tommy and hopefully we make the next one and give you some better local mocos all right man i'll take a nap yep Shoots. <laughs>